G'day and welcome back. We're planning a four and a half thousand kilometre road trip. We're heading off in a couple of weeks and making our way to Longreach and Winton in Queensland, Outback Australia. And we're planning on doing all of this in the Tesla Model Y electric vehicle. You're going to do what? We're going to be heading from our home in Wollongong up to Gunnedah and then through to Burke, New South Wales. From Burke we go to Tambo, Queensland, Tambo to Longreach and then Winton, where we spend several nights at the Rangelands Outback Camp. EVs are city vehicles, mate. You never take that out in the Outback. You need a diesel for that. I'm looking forward to seeing the Winton Dinosaur Museum and the Dinosaur Stampede at Lark Quarry. We have several nights at Rangelands. After leaving Rangelands, we head back through Longreach to Charlieville, back through Burke to Walgett, then Lightning Ridge. In Lightning Ridge, they have the Opal Festival, and we're planning to be there in time to attend the Opal Queen Ball. From Lightning Ridge, we're heading home. So I thought I would share with you how I go about planning a trip like this. Much of this you would do even if you were driving an internal combustion engine vehicle. And up and down the east coast of Australia, there are so many EV charges that this level of planning is no longer necessary. However, when you're driving out back in an EV in 2024, you still need to plan for EV charging stops. At first look on the PlugShare app, it would appear that there are charging locations everywhere. However, when you zoom in to some of the outback roads, such as from Gunnedah to Burke, you realise there are only a few charging stations. It's also important to have a backup plan, because when you check the status on PlugShare, some of these locations may be out of action. You can always take the risk that they'll be repaired by the time you get there, but if they're not, you definitely need a plan B. Looking at the road from Lightning Ridge through to Tambo, it's possible to comfortably get to St George and my Tessa Model Y has a WLTP range of 420 kilometres. The distance from St George to Charlieville is 389 kilometres, so it looks achievable at first glance. However, I know the Tesla will more likely do about 370 kilometres at highway speeds, so it's cutting it a bit fine. So I investigated the alternative of going from Gunnedah through Gilgandra to Ningen and then on to Burke. I find it useful to print out each day and then mark up the document with the location of the EV charging stations. You can of course do all of this online and using the apps. However, I find it faster and easier to just print everything out. Don't assume when you're in the Australian outback that you're going to have telecommunication services. It's entirely possible you'll have no signal at all. It is essential to have a plan B, as our preferred route from Gunnedah to Burke requires us to go through Walgett. However, the PlugShare app shows us that the NRMA charger at Walgett is currently out of action due to vandalism, and has been for several weeks. The next charging stop would be Brewarrina, and this has also been out of action for several weeks. So rather than run the risk that they will be repaired by the time we get there, I've plotted an alternative route which is our Plan B, from Gunnedah through Gilgandra, Ningen and then on to Burke. And there are charging locations about every 200 kilometres along this route. The NRMA charger in Burke is currently operational and we have as a backup plan the option of running an extension cord out of the hotel window and charging the car overnight. charger at the Ridge Retreat, but the owners very kindly allowed me to plug the Tesla into their 240 volt outlet in their barbecue area. I bought an extension cord just for that purpose. 
I've also prepared a spreadsheet showing each day the driving and the distance. Now you might think this is a bit over the top. However, when you're traveling outback, you really need to have a good idea of the roads you're taking and the alternatives and know where the charging locations are, as well as have some backup charging options in case when you get there, the charger is out of action. Now you might say to yourself, well, hey, I don't have to print everything out. I'll just use the apps. But when you're in the Australian outback, don't assume that there's going to be telecommunications coverage out there. It's very possible you'll have no signal at all. Now, all of this is a 2024 problem, and over time, there will be so many charging stations, it won't be necessary to go through this level of detail, just as it's no longer necessary on the east coast of Australia to really go through this level of planning. And at some of our hotels, we'll use our extension cord out of the window to charge the car overnight or top it up if necessary. So this is the full plan. It gives you an idea of exactly what we're doing and we've got backup options in case we get ourselves in trouble. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's going to ruin your bloody weekend.